Good morning to all. Myself, Professor M. Divakar, working as Assistant Professor in ENDC Department in Sharad Institute of Technology College of Engineering at Rao Itsaganji. So, today we are going to study about the socializations in basic human rights. So, what exactly the definition of socializations? Socialization means it is a process by which individual acquire the knowledge, acquire the language, individual acquire the social skills and the value to conform to the norms and roles required to the integration into the group or the communities. That is called as socializations. So, there are different definitions made by the socializations because uh, different philosophers uh, they have made the different definitions. So, like this another definition of the socialization is we can also say that socialization is the process by which human beings beginning at infancy the habits, beliefs and accumulate the knowledge of society through the educations and training for adult status. The socialization that we receive in childhood has a lasting effect on our ability to interact with others in the society. So, that there are different stages of the socializations. Number one, investigation. So, this state is marked by questions search for information. So, the individual compares group in a society will fulfill their need. That means, That is, the end of this state is marked by entry to the group. Hereby, the group asks the individual to join and they accept the offers. So, socialization at this stage, the individual accepts the group norms, values, and the perspectives that is, as simulations and the group adapts to fit the new members which needs that is the accommodations. The ac acceptance transition points is the reached and the individual becomes a full member. Next one is the maintenance. During this stage, the individual and the group negotiate what contribution is expected of members in the stage until the end of their membership. So, some of their roles in a group are to feel to meet a group expectations that is the divergence. Next one is the remembrance. <coughs> so, in this stage, former remembers reminiscences about their memories of the group and make sense of their recent departure. If the group reaches a consensus on their reasons for the departure and the conclusion about the oral experience of the group and it becomes a part of the group of tradition. So, so there are different types of the socializations. So, the types happens when a child learns values, norms and behaviors uh, that should be displayed in the order to live accordingly 
to the specific cultural next one the primary socializations so this type of a socialization when a child learn a values learn a norms the child learn behaves that should be displayed in the order to live accordingly to a specific cultural so for example a child hears is father talks bad words against an old lady the child would think that this behavior is especially acceptable so he would start talking bad words against the older people this is called as a primary socialization next one is a secondary socialization so this type of a socialization occurs when the person learns on appropriate behavior uh, to be displayed within a smaller group and which is still uh, part of larger society so the changes within the values attitudes and the beliefs of an individual are seen to be less important than the changes made in him as he participates in the large society so for example a high school graduate chooses a career in a business management so after participating in a small group career seminar which is led by the college majors next one is a development socialization <coughs> it involves a learning process wherein the fear on developing our social skills examples as a senior high school starts to teach english to a new freshman students in order to develop the verbal communications that is called as a de development socializations next one is the anticipatory socializations that is this type of a socialization refers to the process where in a person practices re hears is for future social relationship so for example a child anticipate parenthood he is observe his parents performance their daily roles next one is a resocialization next type is a so this type of a socialization involves the rejecting previous behavior patterns and it accepting the new ones so that the individual can adopt the life to the another so resocialization is paid to be happening throughout the human life cycle so for example when a criminal is rehabilitated he has to change the role radically that is a resocialization next one there are the different agents of the socializations so one of the agent is family so family so there is no better way to start than to talk about the role of family in our social development as family is usually consideration to be the important agent of the socializations as infant is completely dependent on others to survive so our parents or those who play the parents role are responsible for teaching us to function and care for our selves so they always or they are along with the rest of our family also teaches about close relationship group life and how to close share resources so next member is a school 
agent is a school that is in school the next important agent of the childhood socialization is the school of course the social purpose of school is to transfer the subject knowledge and teach life skills such as the following directions and meeting deadlines but the student don't just learn from the academic curriculum which is prepared by the teachers and school administrator in school we also learn social skills through our interactions with the teachers staff and the other students the next agent is a peers a peer group allows the children to form the relationship and learn about without the direction of adults however our peers also gives us the chance to develop the meaning of the social or for a example we certainly moment our friends behavior and our values we obtained from the family he has to learn to decide which norms and which values to keep or which values to reject or which values to use which norms to use and which we have to follow in certain directions next one is the mass media the last agent of the socialization is that as we are going to discuss this lesson is a mass media okay so which includes the television internet radio movies books and magazines so this agents that our parents are understandably concerned about as with our peers we often learn things through the mass media that our parents would probably rather we didn't so especially today children are exposed to a wide variety of content including violence and sex which many deem in appropriate so mass media also seems to enforce <coughs> next one is the religious so religions plays significant role in the socializations so it influences morality which becoming a key component in people's ideas of right and wrong so the influences of religions extends to many areas of our lives so for example participation in religious ceremonies not only teaches us beliefs about dress manners and so on so while the major functions of the religions in the process of socialization is teaching people which belongs to different religions and to be tolerant and respectful towards each other things do not always works out as desired so therefore the power of religions as the socializing agent should be understood well and any sort of misinterpretations need to be avoided so lastly we come to the conclusion that under the contrary socializations which play a big role in unifying the peoples so that they can acquire one's characters and they can share the multi things in the common and that may be encourage the social development accordingly since the spread of ideology among the people take over thank you